Alrighty, welcome back. So you may not know this, but it actually has been a second since I filmed my last video. I have started college right now. So I, all the videos you saw last year, I was on a gap year, which I dedicated to being alone and fishing. So now I'm living the college life and that means less fishing for me, but I'm having a lot of fun and enjoying it a lot. So don't feel too bad. However, I will still like to fish and I'm going to continue the channel strong as always. So I'm out here right now, I have fall break and I met up with Fish Bob back there. So I came up to Rhode Island and we're fishing by Connecticut right now, right by the border. And we're going for some monster striped bass. So we're trying to fish, we're going from shore right now. The time to do it is at night and we're trying to catch some big, big, big stripers. What's the biggest you've caught so far this year? 61 pounds. 61 pounds can you believe that 61 pound striper i caught a 61 pound tuna the other day i believe that not a striper though and basically i'm here for a couple of days so i have monday and tuesday off i came here today is saturday i got here today and right now it's almost midnight and we are fishing right along this bank we're by a shallow kind of pool that leads into the ocean and right now it's incoming tide and what that means is that the water is getting pushed from the ocean into this kind of pool and the bait fish come in with it and then as the outgoing tide picks up those bait fish will get flushed back out into the ocean where the stripers will be waiting for them so right now it's not prime time yet but if you know fish bob and if you know me we'll be fishing regardless i'm using a breakwater rod this is nine foot right here and i got it paired with this pen fierce so it's a nice reel i got 50 pound braid right here and then up there i got it going to 80 pound fluoro as my leader later we'll be throwing some top water and some bigger baits but for now in this canal i'm throwing this sort of swim bait and that's nice because it flutters really really nicely in the current so that tail will be kicking and hopefully attracting some big 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 stripers and it's nice because i don't have to work it much that paddle tail has some natural action on its own so in the current it does its job, I don't even have to do anything. I just bounce it across the rocks and get ready for a big fish. And right now, waiting for the tide to flip. So as you probably know in my other videos, I like to narrate a lot. Today, that may not be possible as much because uh, people out here, we're on the East Coast. If you know anything about East Coast striper fishing, it can get pretty, pretty competitive, pretty brutal, pretty aggressive. So apparently there was a fist fight last night. Uh, just people really get into it over fish I guess but um yeah I just don't want to make many people mad so if I hook up we're gonna stay relatively quiet we'll get the fish on land and then I'll explain everything we'll get a safe release and we'll get going but if you don't hear me talk too much it's probably because I don't want to get punched we're gonna wait for the tide to flip fish meanwhile see if we can catch an early one now and see if we can catch a monster later you can't really see well but uh, this is a pretty narrow channel so probably 30, 25 yards, 30 yards that way is the edge of the channel. So very, very narrow, but this is where the stripers are coming through to get to these shallow pools. Uh, striped bass are a species that really likes to hang out in shallow uh, kind of pools. So I think the pool that way, which is the incoming, so the pool is really over there, is 10 to 12 feet deep. So not very deep, but there's 50, 60 pound fish in there. Hopefully you can see, but the tide is going out this way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to throw my swim bait out that way and then i'm going to let it drift i'm not even going to reel i'm just going to let it bounce across the rocks and keep the line tight if i feel a bite boom hook set fish on baby we'll be on our way with the first fish of the night so let's get going nine foot surf rod nice big cast upstream there we go and i might have overdone it just because it's pretty narrow right here so i'll reel in a bit now just let this thing bounce so i've tightened my slack and now i'm just watching the rod tip i can feel it bouncing up across the rocks that's a good sign i want to keep maximum sensitivity on this thing i want to feel everything and guys this is the first time i try filming at night so i'm not sure how this footage is going to turn out hopefully good but uh i'm excited because this is when the big stripers come out and we have a real shot at a monster the ones i've caught in california even my biggest stripers are nothing compared to the ones that get caught here every single night so let's see 
what we can do. It looks like my cast has made it pretty far down the river. So I'm just gonna bring it back in and repeat this. I'll cast it back up and let it swim down. So give it a flick. Keep it tight. Come on, I want a monster tonight. And I can see right now, I can see bait fish in the water. That's a good sign. I'm not sure what it is. It could be bunker. We got to the river pretty early and we were just hanging out in the car and we could actually hear the bait fish uh, getting chased up onto the shore by some stripers further up the river. So it just sounds like fish slapping around and it's just a bait fish. They actually sort of kill themselves because they jump on shore to avoid being in the water because the stripers are chasing them. And well, it doesn't go well for them either way, but I guess they'd rather have the shore than the hungry stripers. In about two-ish hours should be when the fishing gets really, really good here around 1.30 in the morning. So we are in it for the long run tonight. We're here all night for fish. We're walking down this jetty, getting closer to the ocean. So the ocean is right up there and that's gonna be where the ocean meets this canal right here. And that in the outgoing tide is gonna be where the stripers are waiting for these bait fish to get flushed out. So great spot. It's gonna be crowded though. And the locals here uh, do not have the most friendly reputation. So we'll see how it goes. I'm here to fish. Hopefully they're here to just fish as well. And hopefully we can catch some fish problem free. But just walking and casting. All right, so this is where the real battle fishing begins here. So I'm not sure if you can see, but I'm standing in line on the rocks right here. getting bumped. You got one? Yeah. All right, look at that. We got Dom mm -hmm. on. Dom's on right now. Look at that. I just had a cast. Nothing for me, but there's a striper. First striper of the night for Dom. There we go. Fish bob. Racking in fish. First one. Looking good. And we had some people pull up some big ones already. We had a 40 incher pulled up. Ooh. That is a nice fish. So there you saw the first fish of the night by Dom. And basically what we're doing right now is we completely switched uh, fishing methods. So the tide turned, uh, it's prob probably almost two in the morning and I'm using a different lure. I'll show you that in a second. But now there's a line of people on the rocks and basically you get in line, cafeteria style, you walk up to the front, cast and uh, Basically, you have one cast, you reel, maybe you catch a fish, maybe you don't. You get back in line and that's how it is. Never done fishing like this, very cool though. And yeah, that's basically it. So I'm standing in line, waiting for my cast. And then I'm gonna explain to you exactly what I'm doing because it's a little tricky and you gotta swim it right to catch these fish. I've been waiting in line a while, my turn to cast. Basically, I've had only a couple of casts because most of the time you're actually waiting for your turn but this is what i'm using this is a darter so let me show you exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to cast this thing out as far as i can in that direction so there's a big rip here and the striper will stack up right in front of me 
And once it hits the water, I'm gonna let out about 30 seconds of line. So this is why we were waiting for the outgoing tide. The outgoing tide is ripping this thing out there. You can see it's going really, really fast. And it's just going out into the ocean. And that's gonna carry my lure super, super fast. So 20, 30 seconds of line. Now flip the bale. And now I'm gonna start really nice and slow. You can see this guy's got a nice fish right in front of me. He's pulling it up right now. But I'm just feeling, feeling this thing swim real nice, real slow, and just pulling it nice and gently. Yeah, and there we go. There we go. There we go. There's a striper. There's a striper. There's a striper. Yep, there's a good striper. There we go. First East Coast striper. There we go. So that's why you wait in line. There'll be a bunch of people in line at a time. And you basically come out here for hours and you don't get many casts. But you have really good odds of hooking up. So now I'm just nice and calm. Reel up. Pump up, reel down. I mean, now let's see if we can get this striper in. Feels decent. Feels like a good fish. Right here. Let's see. Keep good tension on this line. Ah, uh, I miss this. College is fun, but fishing, oh my god. I'll take fishing over calculus all day. And let's see, let's see. First East Coast striped bass for me right now. Let's see if we can land him. Yeah, I see him. He's coming close. And I'm gonna have to pull him up on these rocks. And Dom's gonna help me right here because he's got spikes on his shoes. There we go. There we go. Nice. There we go. Look at the nice striper from the surf right now, from the rocks. First one on the east coast for me. And there's my shoe for comparison. But good fight from this guy. And uh, probably my fourth cast on these rocks. It's gotta be at least 28 and yes, less sir. than 35. Oh, no, that's oh, it. Oh, you're good. What is that, 32? Right on the money? 32 and a half, almost 32. 33. Look at this. Nice 32 inch striped bass right here. Look at what a pretty fish this is. Really, really nice. And this guy is in the slot, so we're gonna eat him. And just look at that gullet. This is the last thing a lot of bait fish see. Not bad for the first East Coast striped bass, but people have been catching way bigger ones. So hopefully we can get on a true giant today. Look at that, Dom is on a huge one. Fish Bob on a tank. How do you feel? I could hear the amount of drag that was coming off the reel right now. Yeah, I could hear it from all the way in there. I was standing in line, been in line for about 20 minutes waiting for a cast and I just heard his reel start screaming. Fish should be coming up. Look at that, that's a good rod bend. That drag is tight too, huh? Yeah. yeah. That's why out here you're using very, very heavy braid. If you use lighter braid, it'll just snap off on these rocks. But we got the 50 pound outfit on there with the 80 pound floral leader. And this thing is still running. Looks like he got himself a nice fish. Isaac, he's coming to you. You see him? I see him in the surf. I see him in the surf. He's big. He's big. He's big. That's a big striper.
Woo! Look at that. Now that is an East Coast striper right there. That is huge. Right, that is a big fish. Yeah. All right. So you can see we're going to the beach right now. We're going to revive this striper and then we're going to let him go because this is way oversized. That's way over 35 inches. Oh. oh, that's a good fish. Look at that. So you can see we're just letting water pass through his gills, getting him nice and oxygenated. But this is a big, big, big fish. How big do you think? Oh, dude. Your beat. Yeah, look, gotta get a measurement. Forty-one. Forty-one inches. That's a big striper. Yeah, he's biting down on that thumb now, which is pretty good. So basically, once this fish starts biting down on your thumb, it's a very good sign that he's getting ready to go. So it means they're regaining strength and. That's uh, that's a way you can know when to release them. So if you're not biting down on your thumb, give him a set. You can see he's just flowing water through his gills right now, really, really nicely. Oh, and yeah. there you go. Oh, he's there you go. Now. Look at that. That's how. You see the thumb? Yep. He fucking wants to eat it. Look yeah. At yeah. 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 Very nice. This the striped bass is an andronomous species. So basically, they'll hang out in the ocean. They'll lay their eggs up in rivers, and this is where they originate. So you you've seen me catch them in California. This is where they came from. They are actually introduced in California and these are where the big boys hang out. There's probably a big female right here. The females are bigger than the males and these guys eat fish. So when they're little, they'll be eating this uh, plankton and then once they get bigger, boom, fish only. So we're hanging out right now. Look at us. Yeah, yeah. In I like the to ocean. Take my time. I don't like to rush the release because the surf here is pretty rough. What ends up happening is the waves will just rock them right back into these rocks, bring them right back onto the beach. Yeah, he's still all ready to go. There you go, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's telling us, he's telling us. So we're just getting him past all these big rocks. Right just to make life a little easier for him. Beautiful fish, we're gonna get a release. Nice big kiss. Let's let him go. There he goes. He's off. That's a nice release. Hell yeah, nice. dude. Awesome. Alrighty, that is all for tonight. We will be back out here tomorrow night, but that is not bad for the first night. Only really had a couple of casts, and that's how it is. You know, you wait in line, uh, but when you do have a cast, you have a good chance of catching a fish, and boom, there it is. Worked for us. Look at this. This is a yeah. nice one, and nothing like the other one that we pulled up today. For tonight, we're going to bed. It's 4 in the morning. We came out here at around 10.30, so guys again i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to like comment subscribe stay tuned and until next time tie lines <laughs>